Hi, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a collage of images for your Instagram stories. So the first thing we need to do is to get our dimensions correct. And for an Instagram story, we need a ratio of nine by 16. So if we just go up to insert, shape, and go to the rectangle, and then just click and drag. Click on the shape, go up to shape format, and then go along to this end section here, height and width. In your height, if you put in 16, and then in your width, put nine. And there you can see your ratio. And then to just make this a little bit bigger and to maintain the ratio, we're just going to click on the corner, hold down our shift key and stretch it out. That just means we can work on a slightly bigger canvas. So what we're going to do now is insert our pictures so they fit within this shape. And then we're going to save it all as an image. So if we go up to insert, picture, now you can select picture from file, but I'm going to select from the stock images already in Word. Now over on the right here, we have a vast selection of different images that can be used. I'm just gonna go up to the menu bar here and just type in city. And we'll just add some cityscapes, doesn't matter which photographs you use, but obviously you'll have your own. So I'll just introduce this image here and click insert. Now, whether you've inserted a stock image or one of your own images, you'll see sometimes that it can appear behind the shape, in front of the shape, or you can't move it, or it's a bit clunky. The quick fix for that is to right click on your image, go down to wrap text and select in front of text. And then you can move your image anywhere and then you can simply resize it to fit your collage. Now I'm just going to move this one to here. Then I'm going to click away. I'm going to insert my next image. And this time I'm going to show you how to crop it. So again, right click. Oh, make sure I'm on the image. Right click, wrap text in front of text. And I want this image to fit this corner here, but I need to crop it. So once I've got my image roughly in the right place, don't have to be too accurate, go up to picture format, make sure your picture's selected and go along to the crop tool and just click on it. Once you see these black markers, all you need to do is to move them so they line up with the side of your shape. And again, no, we need to get the black marker, that's it. And move that along and you can just see the edge here between the shape and the edge of the last image. So that will fit perfectly in that area. Now, whilst I've got this selected, you can now see that if I've got my double headed arrow, I can now move this image around in that crop space. Once I'm happy with the location of the image, just press the return key and then your image will be perfectly selected in that area. Just go ahead and select some more images, right click, Wrap text in front of text. And then finally, we'll put two at the bottom in a portrait mode. So let's select this one, right click in front of text. And once again, we'll have to use the crop tool. We'll just make sure this picture is wide enough to cover shape, go back up to picture format and along to the crop tool. We'll bring the crop tool, oh, we'll bring the crop tool into the middle, roughly about here, and then into the edge here. It will actually click into place when you bring it over the edge of the shape. Then again, move your image to wherever you want it, and then press enter. Now sometimes the image will not quite fit, so all we can do is just stretch that out. There we go. Make sure it's okay at the bottom. And then just click away. Increase the height. Now send this back. So I'm going to send it behind this image here, so you don't see that corner bit there. 
So select the image, make sure you're on picture format, and go to send backwards and just click send backwards and you can see it's sent it behind this top picture. It sounds a bit odd but it's almost like it works in layers. So the final picture, let's just use this image here, click insert, right click, wrap text in front of text, just zoom out. And again, crop it using the crop tool. Move the image to where you want it and click enter. Again, zoom in to make sure it's all lined up. There's a slight edge there that's not quite lined up. And again, let's move that one in. So once you're happy with the alignment, then all you need to do is to go over all of the images by holding down the command or control key, clicking on all the images, going up to picture format, going along to group, and then select the group icon there. And that will group all the images together in one single image. Then all you need to do is to right click, go down to save as picture. I'm going to save this to my desktop. Now I'm going to save this as a JPEG file, so I'm going to click JPEG, save it to my desktop, click save. And then if I get rid of all of this, so now if I go up to insert, picture, picture from file, select the picture, insert. You can see now that this is a JPEG that you can now use for your Instagram. All you need to do is either email it to yourself, use Dropbox or WeTransfer, any of those apps to transfer it to your phone. And then you can simply download this and pop it onto your Instagram story. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.